So what if you're dating a fire sign? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, what's going on with my collective who's dating a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, or a Sag? What does this fire sign want to say? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, what does this fire sign want to say to my collective? One more time. Okay. What does this fire sign want to say if you're dating an Aries, Leo, or a Sag? What does this fire sign want to say to my collective? Oh, okay. That's a little much. <laughs> what does this fire sign want to say? Let's draw. We have isolation. Oh, okay. What does this fire sign want to say to you? Don't run away. Stay close. This feels sad. Like right away, this feels sad. Oh, at the bottom of the deck, I just happened to look. Normally, I, I don't show it till after, but I lost my job. Mm, and that's what I'm saying. Someone, someone feels like they're going through a lot personally already. Okay, wait for me. Mm, someone wants you to wait for them. I believe, uh, who got this? Earth signs got this. So you could be an earth sign watching uh, cross watching, yeah, for your fire sign for some of you. I allowed my friends to come in between us. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm, let's get two more. I compare everyone I date to you, there's no one like you. Mm, okay, let's get one more. I have a baby daddy. Yeah, when I get this card, a lot of the times, like especially in personal readings, um, it comes out like someone is saying they want to be a baby daddy. They want to be your baby daddy. <laughs> so take it as it resonates when you see this card. Keep an open mind, okay? But yeah, this feels so sad. I, I just feel like someone feels down on their luck or someone feels like, Things haven't been working out for them. This fire sign is going through a lot in their mind and in their heart space. I feel like someone could be concentrating on their career. Someone could be facing job loss, obviously, uh, as the card is saying. But I also feel like someone could be in the valley of decision. Like, do I want to stay at the job that I'm at or do I want to move on? Should I go back to school? Should I, you know, increase my, you know, should I do like continuing education is what I'm trying to say, uh, you know, and stop working for now, or should I leave a nine to five and start my own business? Like someone is trying to figure out what they want to do. Okay. And I feel like someone, uh, could be struggling financially right now. Okay. Like I said, take it as it resonates. Um, not all the messages will be for your specific situation. So, Pick which messages are for you, okay? But with that isolation card, I just felt right away like sadness, deep sadness, okay? Like someone is choosing to kind of deal with things on their own. This fire sign may have a lot of pride. They may, you know, be in a state of mind of, you know, I just have to, you know, face it on my own or I have to deal with this on my own. I have to carry the burden by myself, OK, and if you're in a relationship with this person, I feel like they have a hard time opening up about their emotions or their feelings. You may see that like this person kind of distracts themselves or if the two of you kind of sit down to talk about something, you know, personal, this person may distract you, you know, and bring up another topic or not completely answer your questions is what I'm getting. Very specific energy coming through. Don't run away. Stay close. For some of you, this is what this person is saying. But for others of you, I feel like this person is saying this to themselves. Like you can't run away from your problems. You know, you need to deal with your problems. Okay. This person could be saying that to themselves. Someone is saying, wait for me. Like, man, can you just wait? You know, I, I know I lost my job. You know, I know I don't have everything together. You know, I know I'm in between jobs, you know. If you could just wait for me, you know, have a little patience with me. I feel like someone wants you to be patient, you guys. And someone is saying, I, I allowed my friends to come in between us. This could have been a person who, instead of dealing with their problems, they, you know, go to their friends. 
they tell their friends your business, you know, and you know, if the two of you had an argument or something, or say they just disagree with you on something, it doesn't have to be an argument. I feel like this person may have told their, uh, the, the business of your relationship or your connection to someone else. And this could have been one friend, a best friend, or it could have been several of their friends. Okay. And that could have offended you in some type of way. I compare everyone I date to you. There's no one like you. So for some of you, this person, they're connecting with others during this time. And you may not have heard from them. Okay. And you may be like, what is going on? There's been some type of weird separation going on. And you're like, what the fuck is going on with this person? They don't talk to me. You know, they don't return my calls. They don't text me. They stop hanging out, you know, or don't want to hang out anymore. What's up with this person? And it's because they're dating other people and they're uh, possibly, you know, interacting or having sex with other people. Okay. And they're trying to find something to replace you. And I'm talking about those of you who are in separation from this person. They, they're trying to find people to replace you or to replace this connection, but there's just no one like you. Some of you do share children with this person, okay? I, I do feel that energy. Some of you could have a child with this person and they just haven't really stepped up to the plate, okay? Maybe they're there physically, but they're not there emotionally, okay, for you or the kids, Okay. And you feel like there's a hole there or there's something missing here when, when it comes to this person. Um, I feel like this person may suffer from a bit of depression, uh, for some of you. Okay. Very isolated. I feel like this is a person who, who may be used to being alone for some of you. Okay. Oh, so let's come to this deck. Show me some more insight with this person, divine spirit, Holy spirit. What's going on with this person? What's going on with this person? Not today came out in reverse. I don't typically read these cards in reverse. But for this reading, I'm feeling like spirit is wanting to say some things in reverse. Okay. It says not today. I feel like you have been wanting to talk to this person. Okay. You've been wanting to say something to this person, but they possibly have pushed you away. Um, they probably pushed this conversation away. Um, and yes, uh, that came out in, I believe, Aries reading that someone, uh, like the two of you needed to have a conversation from this past week. Go back and uh, look at that reading if you're dating an Aries. Okay. But that, um, uh, did come out. The title of that reading was a, com a conversation that needs to be had or something like that. Um, but yes, someone has been avoiding talking, avoiding talking about their feelings or emotions. Okay. Anything else? Keys on a ring. Yeah. Someone's been keeping their options open. You guys, I know that hurts to hear, but they feel like they've had many keys on a ring. Like, Hmm, this person could have the key to my heart. Uh, maybe this person could have the key to my heart. Uh, maybe this person could, and it's just like, okay. We need to make a decision. We need to figure out where this is going. Okay. You can't continue to stay in isolation. Okay. Karmic relationship. Yeah. For a lot of you, this is a karmic. This is a person who taught you a lot. This fire sign taught you a lot about yourself. And you could have taught this fire sign a lot about themselves that they keep running from or ignoring. Okay. This, uh, for lots of you are, is a karmic partner. Okay. And sometimes a karmic relationship is very painful and it's there to teach us many lessons. Okay. So sometimes we're not always meant to stay with that person. And some of you will, but for some of you, you will choose to move away. Okay, someone could want to work on this. That's what I was saying. I just got through saying some of you will want to work on this with the hammer coming out. Okay, rebuilding this connection, but it's definitely going to take some work. Okay, the butterflies at the bottom of the deck, relationship evolving uh, to the next phase, healing the inner child growth. I feel like this person may have issues from even childhood of feeling isolated. This fire sign has felt isolated, okay? And in not just this connection, but in their life, in their childhood, possibly with parents or with family members, this person needs to heal the inner child so that they can grow, okay? 
they may have daddy issues, okay? Someone may have father issues and they may be afraid to commit because they may fear that every time I commit, you know, something happens, something bad happens, okay? What's the advice for my collective who's dealing with a fire sign? What's the advice here? Whoa, something flipped. A year from now. A year from now. So you guys, there could be a big change in a year from now. You could, you know, go through some type of separation with this person where you do exit the relationship. For some of you, something could change for the better. Okay? Take it as it resonates. But Spirit is saying in a year from now, what else? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, advice, let go. Yeah. You may have to let go of this person. For many of you, you have to let go. And for some of you, it's just letting go of the control. Like, you know how you always want to know the outcome. And yes, tarot uh, gives you guidance for that. But some of you, you have to let go of maybe the hope that this person will do the work right now um, or is finished doing the work right now. I feel like this person still has a lot more to go, okay? Even if they are doing the work work right now, they're not done, okay? Anything else? Success, yeah. There may be a successful outcome in the future. If you let go right now, in a year from now, something may change with you and this person. Listen to your intuition when it comes to this fire sign. What is your gut telling you, okay? Ooh. So what other energies are coming into play for this person, for this fire sign in the collective? What other energies are coming into play? Okay, let me get this card. Something had fell out. Okay. What other energies are coming into play? Water. Yeah. Woo. You could be a water sign dealing with a fire sign. For some of you, I feel like this person needs to get in touch with their emotions. That's the issue here. This person needs to get in touch with their emotions. Saturn is also at the bottom of the deck needing to get serious. Timing is a big thing. And I feel like if this person does not change in time and doesn't learn how to be more in their water energy, emotion, they have a lot of fire because it's a fire sign. They need to bring those emotions to the surface and learn to deal with their emotions appropriately instead of isolating themselves and expecting you to wait for them. Okay. Something else just flipped out. Look, moon, lots of water. Cancerian energy is here. Lots of water sign energy. So that shows me that a lot is going on under the surface with this person that they're not telling you. They keep their emotions hidden. The moon is darkness. This person is used to keeping their emotions hidden and keeping everything under the surface. And it's like, oh, it's no big of a, you know, big deal. It's not that big of a deal is what I'm trying to say. Oh, it's not that big of a deal. You know, uh, I'll just deal with stuff on my own. I'll deal with everything on my own and, you know, keep my options open and, you know, depend on, you know, my person to make me feel better when I need them. And, and it's like, no, you have to deal with your problems. You can't keep relying on your friends to rescue you or to help you to escape your, your problems you actually have to deal with them. So that's what this person's energy is currently. Mm. All righty, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this collective reading for if you're dating any of those four elements, the earth signs, the water signs, uh, air signs, or fire signs. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading and I hope you found a message that would resonate with you. All right, you guys, don't forget to like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Also share this video and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monet Tarot. I look forward to hearing from you. And remember, you guys, if you would like a personal reading, my information is always in the description box below. Shoot me an email and we'll talk. Take care. Bye.